posted February 15, 2019 23 hours 55 minutes and 37 seconds India's Prime Minister has warned of a crushing response to the suicide bombing of a paramilitary convoy in Indian-controlled Kashmir, an attack that killed 44 and is now the deadliest in the divided region's volatile history. Key Points The U.S. singled out Pakistan in its statement condemning the attack outrage and demands for revenge flooded Indian social media Some people were reported injured in mob attacks Prime Minister Narendra Modi placed the blame for Thursday's bombing squarely on neighboring Pakistan, which India accuses of supporting rebels in Kashmir. Our neighboring country thinks such terror attacks can weaken us, but their plans will not materialize, he said, adding that government forces have been given total freedom to deal with the militants. The attack is ratcheting up already hostile tensions between the nuclear-armed neighbors, who both administer parts of the disputed territory but each claim it entirely. India said it had incontrovertible evidence of Pakistani involvement in the attack. The Pakistan government responded with a stiff denial, calling the attack a matter of grave concern, as outrage and demands for revenge flooded Indian social media. Arun Jaitley, one of the most senior figures in the Hindu nationalist-led government, told reporters India would work to ensure the complete isolation of Pakistan. The first step, he said, would include removing most favored nation, MFN, trade privileges that had been accorded to Pakistan, though annual bilateral trade between the countries is less than $3 billion. The U.S. also specifically singled out Pakistan in its statement condemning the attack. The United States calls on Pakistan to end immediately the support and safe haven provided to all terrorist groups operating on its soil, whose only goal is to sow chaos, violence, and terror in the region, the statement from the White House Press Secretary's office said. Security measures in place following blast video, at least 40 soldiers killed in deadly car bomb in Kashmir, ABC News. In Thursday's attack, a local Kashmiri militant rammed an explosive-laden van into a bus traveling in the paramilitary convoy. In addition to the dead, the attack wounded nearly two dozen other soldiers, India's paramilitary Central Reserve Police Force spokesman Sanjay Sharma said. The Greater Kashmir newspaper reported that militant group Jaishi Muhammad claimed responsibility. The blast was so powerful that one cannot recognize whether the vehicle was a bus or a truck. Just pieces of mangled steel remain, Mr. Sharma said. Authorities suspended movement of security convoys in the Kashmir Valley for a day on Friday and Home Minister Rajnath Singh arrived in Srinagar to review the security situation. Rebels, many of whom want Kashmir united with Pakistan, have been fighting Indian control since 1989, but the Muslim-majority region has experienced renewed attacks and repeated public protests in recent years. As a new generation of Kashmiri rebels, especially in the southern parts of the region, has challenged New Delhi's rule with a mixture of violence and social media. Authorities call for restraint amid violent protests The blast triggered anti-Pakistan protests in Hindu-majority India. Hundreds of residents carrying India's national flag and Hindu-dominated Jammu city in the Muslim-majority state burned vehicles and hurled rocks at homes in Muslim neighborhoods, officials said. Some people were reported injured in the mob attacks. Authorities declared a curfew and appealed for a restraint. Crowds overturned and set fire to some vehicles, and protesters marched to the Pakistani embassy in New Delhi. The last major attack in Kashmir was in 2016 when Jaish militants raided an Indian army camp, killing 20 soldiers. Weeks later, Mr. Modi ordered a surgical strike on suspected militant camps across the border in Pakistan Kashmir. Since 1989, about 70,000 people have been killed in the uprising and the ensuing Indian crackdown. Last year's death toll was the highest since 2009, with at least 260 militants, 160 civilians and 150 government forces killed. AP, Reuters Topics, World Politics, Terrorism, Unrest, Conflict and War, Territorial Disputes, India, Pakistan, Asia, 